Hi, my name is Robert Shelley with Shelley Law, and my law firm assists nurse practitioners with employment contract and independent contractor agreement issues. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about uh, the pros and cons of a nurse practitioner being an independent contractor. So let's kind of define the two employment relationships an MP can have with an organization, and then we'll get into kind of the pros and cons of uh, being an independent contractor. So first, you can either be an employee or an independent contractor. And so as an employee, normally this would be full-time or maybe at least, um, I don't know, 0.5 FTE, something there or above would be considered um, or should be considered an employee. They'll pay you through, a, you know, you'll get a, a regular salary, You'll get a W-2 at the end of the year. Taxes are taken out. They'll provide benefits. So health, vision, dental, life, retirement, disability. They'll pay for your continuing education, malpractice insurance, all that kind of stuff. So as a normal employee, the you get a ton of ancillary benefits um, and uh, the taxes are taken out of your compensation. As an independent contractor, you won't get any of that at least from the employer. So they're not going to pay, or at least in most places, aren't going to pay for any of those. They're not gonna offer health insurance. They're not gonna pay for your malpractice. They're not gonna give you uh, money for your you know, licensing and uh, dues and fees. Uh, all, all of that would be kind of on the nurse practitioner to cover. Now, so why would someone do that? Well, if you're a nurse practitioner and you're working sporadically at you know with an organization and you're you're unlikely to be designated as an employee uh, so let's just say you're filling in maybe once a week even you know once every couple weeks or once a month something like that that's when an independent contractor relationship would make the most sense uh, now if the NP uh, is savvy they'll create a limited liability company an LLC um, and then they will uh, create a bank account and get a tax ID from the IRS, put all of the money received into a bank account, and then they can deduct all of those things as business expenses. So the licensing board, DEA registration, AAMP, continuing education, you know, travel, all that kind of stuff can be deducted. So. Uh, I would suggest, I'm, I mean, I'm not an accountant, I'm just an attorney. So uh, I would suggest if you are interested in doing that, to reach out to a local accountant and make sure that you're setting everything up appropriately. But uh, in the long run, you can deduct a lot of, um, you know, <laughs> positive things uh, as an independent contractor if it's set up properly. The, the downside to being an in, in, you know, being an independent contractor, if you absolutely need insurance, uh, it, it's gonna be much more difficult when you have to find it on your own um, and most likely more expensive as well. So if you're someone who's not um, proactive and wants to go out and find your own health and vision and dental and life and disability and fund your own retirement, and do all of these things on your own as an independent contractor, it might not be the best idea for you to do that because if you're an employee, the employer handles all of that. Um, however, some people really like the freedom of being an independent contractor. Kind of the idea of being an independent contractor is you can kind of work when you want, um, you know, with <laughs> who you want. Um, and so it should be much more flexible then if you're employed and the employers like you need to be here at this time on this date seeing these people um, and then it should be easier to get into and out of an independent contractor agreement as well there should be less notice if you want to terminate the agreement and, th and that type of thing so those are kind of the pros and cons of being an independent contractor as an mp uh, if you have any questions about an employment agreement or independent contractor agreement feel free to contact my law firm at the phone number listed below in the description uh, or you can reach us through our website listed below as well. So appreciate you watching the video. Thanks.